Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday Night Mayhem's new segment, Intergalactic Hour. That was 1984 by Van Halen bringing us in that. You guys ready for some Intergalactic Hour talk? Mikey D, are you ready for some Intergalactic Hour talk? I am spaced out, Daddy-O. All right, bring it on in. What do you... So what this is, Intergalactic Hour, we're going to talk about things for as long as we decide to talk about things for. So starting off, you guys know what the secret is to being a great space dad? Oh, my gosh. Somebody kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I end this as best I can for space. You'd have to be a little green baby. So, uh... Well, here's a clue. Dad is a verb like catch, hug, listen, space listen. And like zero gravity flying, dude. You know, it's not just something you are. It's something you do like hanging out, listening, laughing, reading, going to the moon and playing. Kids sure do love playing, but mostly kids love dads. Take time to be there. That's the secret. If you're a child in your time, this has been a message from the National Fatherhood Initiative, the Ad Council, NASA, 91.5 WBIMFM. If your dad takes you to the moon, he's a wild dad. That's Speaking of the dad. moon, dude, this is nothing to do the moon. I'm but still, um, I'm still erecting my uh, launch pad. <laughs> you see, Elon Musk tweeted like like a little over an hour ago saying, "I heart anime." Did he? He but, also saw made a fake post saying Elon Musk buys Fortnite just to delete it. Yeah, I saw. And he retweeted it saying <laughs> he was basically, "Hey, it had to be done." <laughs> and people are like, "Oh, Fortnite responded." They're like, why is it taking me this long to make rockets? He's like, because I live in reality. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. Fortnite should have went up. He's way smarter than that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Fortnite yeah, his tw- He's been going off on Twitter. Just he's weird at, things. He's good at Twitter. I don't know. Well, like, he started talking at. to, like, bored Elon Musk's Twitter account. and was like, well, bored me. And <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> talked to him. He just has a good time because he works, like, 100 hours. Isn't that the dude sending somebody, a human, to space? He's, gonna, he's making new rockets. He put a car in space, Mikey D. He put, he put yeah, his I heard about rock. that a while back. Yeah. So where's the car right now? In China's space. building a fake moon to take away out. street lights. Yeah, that, okay, that That's is happening. Fact. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Should I be scared? Maybe. That's fake just, moon 2020. That's a real... That's, he's not even like making that up. That's a real thing. He's dead. Wow. China like launching a, sp- a fake moon into space. That car that he sent uh, out the far out of street lights. space and time, is there a passenger in it? Are you overrated? There is a fake passenger. I don't know. Mikey D lives uh, five minutes in the past. But Besides that, I live five Mikey, minutes away from here. Where's conspiracy show? <laughs> There's a conspiracy that Elon Musk killed a person and put them in that, that. in that spacesuit in that car. Hey, he, didn't, he, didn't, he won't have to kill me. I'll, I volunteer. <laughs> He'll just go Not to be killed, but to fall and jump and die. Well, so you know what happens if somebody just jettisons you into space. Right, Mikey D? Hey, what, what about the space police? Will they stop me from not wearing a uh, space seatbelt or something? No, I think uh, it'll be fine. Please keep your clothes on, Mikey D. Why would we... All right, we, I, I want to keep it on space, but... China. We, why is what? We were born moon. on January 21st, 1992. Who was? Never, never mind. Yeah, but that's a wild... Yeah, that's come a, on. That's a wild move by China, just to, like, we're sending a second moon into the sky. Like, how big is it going to be? I don't think it's going to be that big. I think it's just going to be very reflective. And the whole point is to take away streetlights? They're just going to make it lighter. They say it's going to be more proficient. I Will that screw up the ocean? I don't know. No, I don't. it's not going to be big enough to, like, do anything. Where are they building this? In China, probably. Well, obviously. Duh. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Where's the moon to... being built, bruh? Yeah, Beijing, I... Hong Kong, China. Oh, Shanghai. I don't, I don't know. China, Who's call that? in 508 531 1303. Tell us how big your moon is and where I'm it's going to be. Look it up. That doesn't mean moon us, but I mean, tell us. Also, like, you wouldn't be able to see the stars, right? Like, it would be too bright. Oh, yeah. I don't think they care about that, though. Hey, Heisey, look at you looking things up. Uh, Heisey's got the computer I'm the chair one now. Who brought this to Tommy's attention? Or so here's the Ooh. Q did not credit you even slightly it's for okay. this. It's okay. No, we're talking about was that worthy of a credit? When the, hey, when the night sky is clear, just feel like without clouds, crediting somebody. Can anybody notice and just look up above and see the night sky? Oh, uh, moon creds to high sea. you look up there? Okay, so this is what I found. It says it can light up, illuminate a 50 square kilometer area. It could save 1.2 billion, uh, I don't know their currency, but 173 million in the United States money. How is it going to stay up there? Uh, it's going to probably be in orbit. Ropes. 
It's going to be an orbit? Probably a geosynchronous orbit, which means... And it's going to light over. the same 50-kilometer no, square space? No, they'll probably be able to move it. it. If they put it in a geosynchronous orbit, it'll stay in one spot and only look at one place. So the reflection... Oh, so it's going to be like a spotlight? Yeah, I guess. That's kinda. pretty cool. I think it's unnecessary. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> terrible, actually. I retract my earlier statement. They're going to screw up some satellites and stuff, probably. They, Is Facebook going to drop? I don't think it'll screw anything up. I think it's just... They just, like, we're going to save it. Electricity because it's too expensive. I don't know. It just <laughs> wait. It just seems like a weird move. Right? What's the moon going to be powered by? I. It might just be like reflective of light from the sun. <laughs> Can't they just make solar powered street lights? I. They. I don't. It's China, man. I don't know. I'm Wouldn't just, that be cheaper I'm than putting China. another moon into space? Well, I will give this though. Moon. That is probably the biggest flex you can do. That is a huge flex. It's like boom moon. It's gotcha. like Elon Musk level of flexing. I'd say it's above that. Speaking of the moon, is there anything about the moon they haven't told us yet or that we might not know? Well, Bigfoot has a, a space camp <laughs> on know. the other side of the moon. It, here's a here's a thing. I saw this. If I saw like a it was like a meme. If China went to the moon and they landed at like one of the Apollo landing sites and they pushed over one <laughs> of our flags, do you think we would go back up there just to put another flag? Yes. I think absolutely. Absolute, We'd put two flags. So. We would put two. I 100% think we would waste money. we just find a higher spot and put a flag on it. <laughs> we, <would. laughs> we would just use a space laser to draw the American flag into the moon. Oh, Let's promote. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd must know something about it that we don't. <laughs> That's Why? Dark side of the moon. Okay. You don't see Dark Side of the Rainbow? I think they might be. I think you're on to something. Well, according to Michael Bay, that's what the Transformers are. Michael Bay is one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. Dark Side of the Rainbow? No, it was Dark of the Moon, Transformers 3 with Shia Labio. Check it out. Shinola (laughs) Puff. That was a weird plug for that movie. (laughs) Dark Side (laughs) of the Moon? That's a weird random movie. That that movie's been out since I was like in eighth grade. (laughs) It's such a weird movie. It's terrible, but you know, it was fun. Uh, it's like, that's like plugging like a night Back tale. in 69 when they went to the moon, right? Was nice. it, wasn't it Buzz Aldrin or one of those uh, uh, astronauts? The two of them, would you call me? Saying that some, something or somebody was up there watching them. That's a lot. Hold on, Mikey. No, no, that's Listen. I just want to know. No, yeah, I think that's a lot. I lie. heard that. I've Mike- heard it numerous times. Read articles, seen articles, whatever. Just talk to me, brother. Mikey D, okay. you ever, like, be home alone and you're, like, hearing, like, creaks and stuff? You're like... Yeah, that's my bones. Uh, yeah. So, if I put you in the vacuum of space, welcome to phone life, brother. You, uh, <laughs> Mikey, you ever hear that guy Bert Seifel or Seifel or something? He's Can't like, say that I have he's the loser that got punched in the face by Buzz Aldrin. Oh, I've seen that video. Yeah, it's yeah. great. He's it's like so the great. biggest fake. Yeah, did he ask him about uh, swearing on a uh, put his hand on a yeah. Bible and swear, but he like, wouldn't? Then he ended up. I guess he was pestering him a little too much, and uh, yeah, he gave him a good well, backhand. That guy's whole life is dedicated to. to Questioning uh, hold on one sec. those guys' lives work, and I think I they don't owe him anything, so I don't like I don't think it means that they didn't go to the moon, you know what I mean? He, he like says, Oh, you're not gonna swear on the Bible, so that means you didn't go to the moon. Yeah, well, oh, I know, wants, no, I understand. That. No, yeah, I know, I know, but I just like I just think he's a loser, I just think he's like the idea. biggest loser of losers to me. But I wonder if there's uh before man landed on the moon August, I think it was August of 69, correct? Whoever called July. in, July. I'm sorry, uh, they dropped, July. I don't know what happened. Well, 69, what the talk, the uh, year of 69, all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Back here. It's because I'm too far away from the phone. Oh, Do people God. just hate Stampede doing phones? I thought you did a good job. But I'm just wondering if there was any... I thought I heard it ringing. ...us landing on the moon, was there anybody or anything that they send up there to land on the moon to investigate? They did probes. Probes and stuff like yeah, that. National Treasure 3. Nick Cage goes to the moon. That'd be horrible. That'd be the greatest thing ever. First Man's Out. That was a good movie. Me yeah, it was pretty good. Dirty Q went to see that. It was like a emotional thing. You I guys guess. like it? Yeah. yeah. It was it was unexpected. I'll have to check it. I'll give you my opinion. I thought they did oh, so, a real... Oh, so you guys went together, huh? Without us? Oh, we're good right. job. So we're going to go me, me, Dinky, and uh, the Stampedian over there. I thought the, the, when they, the moon part was really cool when they were on. It was very oh, short when I think, they were on there. I think the showing, I think they showed an astronaut's life perfectly, like a, how like their family, pretty, life, pretty their family life sucks because they just have yeah. to dedicate all their time to work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on government property. Yeah, it's like basically some crazy number, like seventy percent of them end up getting divorced. I moved away. 
Not far enough. I, I heard that loud friend. and clear. I don't care if you're. Did you guys see The Martian? The Martian was pretty good. Yeah, it was a good movie. Good movie. I liked it. He ate a lot of potatoes. Yeah, so who was that called? Uh, it's a mystery. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you're. Uh, somebody you're, from outer space. <laughs> somebody you're giving PTSD right now. Uh, Glenn, <laughs> Glenny D from Facebook says, "Send Mikey D to space and leave him there." <laughs> so. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Shout out to you, no Glenny D. Problem. I'll shout you out. Well, I can still be surrounded by thousands of uh, college uh, personnel, as in kids. All right. Here's, <laughs> a, here's a question within our space I'll get, I'll get another BIM station going up there. Okay, hit me, daddy-o. <laughs> here's, a, here's a question with our space thing. If you guys could be the first person to go to Mars, would you go knowing Hell that, no. that it'd be four years before you could get back? You Probably die. about four years. Yeah, well, so uh, I, I guess the die. plan hmm. for the first Mars people are going to be that they're not coming back. I don't think that's true. I think that was a fake. Because like, nobody was... But, was like, they got to know there's a, a good to fair chance. Oh, there's definitely... people. They know there's a good to fair chance. Like, I'd say know. over 70% chance they but die. the thing with Mars, it takes six to nine months to get there. <laughs> and then it takes two years nice. for the orbits to be... The Earth and Mars's orbit to really? be as close as they are. It's like... like save fuel to get there and then it takes six to nine months to get back so that's like a three and a half year journey hey, what at about the venus, very though? least we die yes we die it's uh, so? it's 900 degrees yes. on the surface of venus it's toxic right yeah it could it's i mean fun. even if i wore my asbestos suit yes <laughs> <laughs> i feel like mikey you would be the only person venus could not kill venus is the just, <laughs> just had a spice shows the up planet dies venus is, it's like geez um, this guy's well, weird one, one thing at a time moon first We've been to the moon. Moon base, Mikey. No, I guess you haven't been to the moon yet. <laughs> Just moon base, Mikey. Not a picture of moon, which is a little fort and a flag with Mikey's face apparently on Apparently, Venus, in, in the very early stages of the solar system, could have had water on it before, which is kind of nuts. Because it's like, almost the exact same as I think there's a lot more out there that we don't know about. And there's I think that the government knows a lot that <laughs> they're just not releasing. We're, we're all about Mikey D. Here. The governments of the world cannot cooperate for one minute. One of them would have spilled the beans by now. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Well, they, they've been doing it for a while, but they're spilling the wrong beans. <laughs> I just... so, all right. I don't think they're. <laughs> I don't think they're. Uh, they're particular about which beans they're spilling. So back to space talk. Okay. Uh, did you guys? Do so you remember that uh, that probe we sent to um, satellite uh, Saturn? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Cassini, they blew it up because they didn't want to contaminate they just, they, yeah, the they moon. Just, they just threw it into Saturn. Yeah, they realized that they would uh, contaminate something if they landed it there, so they had to destroy it, yeah. which is pretty cool. And what, how I think life on Earth started, I think an ancient alien really? sent a probe a very unlikely. into space. And then, well, yeah, That's like it a is. like one in a hundred billion jillion. What do you guys think the but first But that's how many planets there are. So, it happened first to be human name. one planet. First human name? Jeremy. Mm, Jeremy. No. Jeremy. I'd say Greg. Jeremy. I don't think either of those names. Greg is short <laughs> for Gregory. Which is, it's Jeremy. I think Adam? That's a Jeremy. I think Actually, it was something that we can't pronounce and it's no longer a name anymore. We've been pronounced it, so I'm just like, Rawr. It's probably ridiculous. Nobody finds that name. <laughs> hey, how do you spell it? It's gonna be the first, have writing. It's the first human names, huh? Yeah. This is a fun I'll, thought I'll experiment. Throw a, I'll throw one. I got a few. I got a couple right now. I'll back up, Greg. How about Jeremy? Abel. Abel. Okay. I put. Um, I put Tyler. So. What do you, what do you think, you man? Greg. Tyler. Throw a name out there. I've said Greg. I'll say it a fourth time. Greg. Okay. I'll say <laughs> Tyler. Kane or Abel or both. Jeremy. All right. Any of you uh, listening viewers out there, give so, us a call right now. 508-531-1303. We want to hear some feedback from... Uh, about your first... From what do you think the first name ever was? I'm sitting right here, Mike D. I'll give you some feedback. It's Jeremy. It is. So, also... I hate that name now. I know. Oh. <laughs> there is one. Nah, he, he was already around a while ago. It was uh, the first... The guy, the guy that built the big wooden boat with all those... With this, had a, a portable zoo on Noah? Uh, Noah. On Jeremy. No, I, I swear to God, if you say Jeremy one more time, I'm going to freak out. Okay. No Jeremy's allowed in the studio. So, the thing about it is... My hands. 
So the thing about all these names, where did so Mikey is just listing a bunch of Bible names, right? I mean, it's the most it's the most backed one. I guess. <laughs> My own. He has the most yes. backing for any of them. I think you guys are sleeping on Greg. I think it's Greg. I think uh, it, Greg. It's not the very first original name. Was just I like. So you got so you got like unk unk and you got like brr hanging out in the cave and all of a sudden this dude comes in and unk unk's like brr, brr, and the other guy's like brr, and he's like hello oh, you know, my you know, name is Greg hey you know what we can find out we're gonna go back to the movie uh, back in I think 1967 a movie with Raquel Welch called One Million Years BC we'll have to check it out that they might be able to grunt out and snort out a few uh, I just feel, male or female I feel names. like names just weren't a thing. They just weren't a thing until writing, so, until writing existed. So, it's interesting that you mention that. Um, Me or him? Never you, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, because like, see, we'll get you nowhere. I think generally, right, animals don't have names unless we name them, right? Of course. Like, gorillas aren't like, hey, Jeremy. Yeah. Goodness. But do you think gorillas Ralph and George. their names to each other somehow? So I, that's a really good question. I bet there's an anthropologist out there who can answer that. Call in if you're an anthropologist. Yeah, if you're an anthropologist, call in. It's 508-530-130. Second floor, hot hole. Give fun, us a call. Here's a fun fact. Though. Anthropologists <laughs> do not listen to the show. That's why they're anthropologists. That's why they're smart. That's not why they're anthropologists. Okay, but. You got it mixed up. It, it helps. It helps the fact that they don't listen to the show. They don't listen to the show because they're anthropologists. Yeah, I guess. I guess yeah. that's, that's. Or there's a third other thing that causes both of those things like being intelligent causes anthropology I think, and I think causes just not intelligence is associated with not watching the show what dirty q's so, really upset because i, I said see, Jeremy you know my time. theory right what's your theory mikey do you want to you know my theory so for all those who don't know uh i just got a bag of sun chips from the uh vending machine couple of minutes ago that and you did break. not eat them in here because that would have been against the rules scrolling through my instagram feed uh, Ad for Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. Yeah. Exactly what I had. Okay, he thinks like the everyone is fake. Everyone's fake. I don't know how. I think that evidence has like more. Everyone is fake. Is Everyone's on. not real. Well, I think your advertisers are definitely like listening to you right now, like yeah. on our phones. I don't, I don't understand how that evidence proves that. That's, that's not to prove it. It just <laughs> keeps it going, man. There's been crazier ones. That one. What are the odds I get those there. exact brand? I'm just Here, scrolling I'm gonna, through I'm that exact you, brand. I'm gonna prove to up. you. Do you have Facebook on your phone? Yeah. Did it ask you to use your microphone? No. On a scale of 1 to 10, don't trust it. How much do you trust me? On a scale of 1 to what? 10. What's the highest? 10. I give you 11. Thank you, Mikey. Aww. A little little cutie pie. 8 and a half. (laughs) Gotta leave for a You give me an 8 and a half. How much do you trust that I am real outside of the studio? I promise you that I am a real person away from here. Less than, like, you know, negative 3%. I don't trust you at all, man. <laughs> well, why would you say otherwise? What? What up, dude? Because I'm a good friend of yours, and I want to tell the truth to you. Yeah, man. Or is that... Is he knows you exist outside of here. I he think just doesn't... Is, I think ne- not everyone is fake. I think you might just be in a Truman Show type reality where everything is fake. I, I think like you're that, a, then. Your life is like a stage. I think you're in a Matrix uh, pod. Like in the there's, Matrix? There's, I, was, I was waiting for them to be like, hey, you figured it out. Good job. But didn't have oh, yeah. There's a different layer to this. What if you're in a Matrix pod in a Matrix pod? Isn't this like Inception? Just no. Guys, so the thing is, you didn't figure it out. <laughs> look, look what we're surrounded by. How big is space? It never ends. And it never started. It's always been here. It's true. It could be. Right? This could just be a Hollywood stage right now. And Tommy's the subject. And he's been a reality star since he was born. I and think he figured it out. I think you're in a Matrix here. pod inside a Matrix pod inside a Matrix pod. Inside the marble from Men in Black. Like, he figured it out. When you went to Europe, how do you know, know that they like flew like over? They could have just flown in circles and landed. You're making it sound out. like I don't believe in this, even though I thought of it. No, but you said it's like all just fake and not real. I'm saying it's like a stage and outside there's a all real right. thing. That's kind of the same thing. Was that what you were thinking about? Sure. That, Mikey, did you <laughs> can't know like, that there wasn't a beginning to the universe. That was in a glass cigar, by the way. <laughs> oh, is it over? I don't know. We I still, I got more. Okay. Oh, we got more. All right, never mind. Never mind. I got more. Yeah, it's it's I saw. Tell me. Pause. It never started. It will never end. How do you know? Right. It's always here. How do you know? How do you, you know? So. How does he know? Okay. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I found an article. I was scrolling Facebook earlier today, and there was an article that said, which dog best matches you based on your astrology sign? I'm a Gemini. I'm a bald eagle. You too? Huh? Gemini, Gemini, Aries, bald eagle. Wait, scary I'm cancer. I'm 11th birthday. Is scary cancer? Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. cancer and then scary cancer. And Dirty Q is the scary cancer brand. Scary cancer, Aries, Ooh. Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> May 30th, brother. What's your birthday? June 11th. Uh, I'm sometime in April. All you of our are. astrology signs are um, one off. Okay. Yeah, did you guys know that they switched it? So, Kill? what is when does cancer start? I don't look it up. Look well, it up. I'm, 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 my laptop's over there. I'm over here. Is actually when that that um, look it constellation up. is in the sun, in the path of the sun, so you can't really see it. Oh my god, look it up. And oh my god, you're sitting in front of a computer. I know, but I already know. Oh my god, look it up. See, okay, so which one? Me, this is what me and Stampede go through before pre-show. We're setting stuff up, oh my God. and I tell them to type in something, and it takes like four or five times before we're good. We get there though. Stampede, Listen, continue. I'm gonna take a stand and not type that in. Uh, I don't like this seat. Put IC in charge of the phone. <laughs> I don't. I'll like be in charge of the phone. All right. Let's you wouldn't handle. Oh, then I'd have to sit. Stampede in. has the. Then I'd have to sit next to my key. Okay. Why did this lioness kill her a male partner? Hmm. Linus, like the Linus from Charlie Brown. Mikey D, that's a clickbait ad. That is a clickbait ad. Probably because he was cheating on her. Wow. Or, I, yeah, the, uh, isn't that it? We have one alpha lion that he made with a bunch of females, isn't that? Yeah, that's how they a lion for pride. pride. Let's have a segment where Mikey D just reads clickbait <laughs> ads. No, please, no. <laughs> I could, but. <laughs> the man who can't stop painting. That's why. Wow. Keep reading. I make my money from Bitcoin and tasty roast meat. That's Good what for I, him, man. These are awesome. Oh, yeah. They could, uh, okay, okay, I got more. All right, continue. On. What was the whole thing you were talking about? Like Gemini and Scary Cancer? Yeah, That's, uh, it's called astrology. So what was that about? Fake, but okay. No, I thought it was funny. Uh, which dog matches you based on your astrology? Oh, okay. And I see won't look up the new one so I can know oh, what the your, name is. What do you mean the new one? The new astrology sign. They added a new one. They yeah. did? Already fake thing. What? They already got. They did? Matrix. So Every, Matrix. Everybody's, got, uh-huh. everybody's got their birthdays and stuff. Uh-huh. How can they get uh-huh. out? It's from November 29th to December 17th. Mm-hmm. And you're the like, it's all no. like a, What was it before? Bum, 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 no, the home. Oh, never mind. It's not called uh, Matrix. Uh, 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 something like that? I'm looking up. up. I don't know. It it's not called Matrix. Wait, it's called Opechus. But it sounds like a Matrix character. No, it's. What's it Sorry, called? Opitus? Opitus? I don't know. It's probably Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus. Hey, if anybody knows anything about astrology, call in. It's 508-531-1303. If you and know educate, anything about astrology, you don't actually know anything. It's a fake so thing. look up what your new astrology sign is. Tim Allen Brick! Uh? <laughs> I messed that oh, up to I'm start Taurus. with pretty hard. I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus. My bad. Now, what am I? Me and Mikey D are Taurus. Oh, oh, I'm a Pisces now. I forgot to pause yeah. the war song, but that was, okay, we, it was good. That's the beginning of May. We're going to have a lot of Tim Allen breaks. These are the new ones. These are the new ones. I don't get the new ones. Because they, uh, they added a new one. Because the, those astrolo- astrology signs were off. The newest one you said, I don't get. This one. This is now. Oh. Yeah, but what was November 29th before? In December 17th. It was probably this one. They probably moved it. They were off by a lot. They were off by a lot. Or just spit really? everywhere. They, wow. It's, it's supposed it to be in the constellation. <laughs> Am I wrong? The <laughs> so, um, so also it's all made up. Tim That's, Allen? It is all made up. <laughs> Tim <laughs> Allen. I've been on my own Tim different Allen. conversation with myself. Is I like figment? My problem is I have my reflection in the window, so I've just been chilling with myself. You're like, hello, it. Dirty Q. All right, what's, what, what are the hey, notes you got? You get four good-looking dudes looking back at each other, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at a screen, so. Um... Spaghetti, mo- spaghetti, mo- flying there, spaghetti there, monster. You guys know like smartwatch cracked. What? How did that happen? It's cracked. How did it happen? Is that your question? Did you drop it. You punch somebody. I did drop it. Like eight. All right. All right. All right. We're doing this. Intergalactic okay. hour pause. So fit. <laughs> intergalactic hour on pause. Pause. Intergalactic hour. And hey, talk about. We haven't been to the moon since the last time. My ED, we're Why is that? Pausing pause. intergalactic hour right now. All right. So I broke my Fitbit, and they don't offer a uh, repair service at all. They did say that I could have a 20% off coupon for a new Fitbit, but I already bought a Fitbit. Coupon or coupon? 
Where's coupon. Where's the coupon? Coupon. Coupon or coupon? Coupon. Coupon. Coup coupon or coupon? Oh, Mikey, dude, you're I'm such a disappointment. Like a coupon guy. Coupon. Because, you, you know, coupon. Coupon, obviously. Dirty coupon. 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 Dirty coupon. Dirty coupon. 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 <laughs> That's it. So now every time I bring it up, I gotta talk about how they don't have a replacement sir. Like uh, they don't, they don't have a. No, we're still on pause. Oh. We're, we're talking about my Fitbit right now. This is Fitbit Corner. What does Fitbit do? What is it Fitbit do? It tracks your steps and also it notifies me if I get a notification on my phone, so I can just look it up. I can be like, oh, I have a Snapchat from Josh. Isn't that an Apple Watch? Who's Josh? It's, it's not an Apple Watch because Apple Watches have a terrible battery life, and this one lasts like three days or something, so I can wear it while I sleep and also get my sleep. Cycles tracked. Fitbits are pretty cool, but if you break it, they will not fix it for you, and they will I'm not replace it for you. I'm actually happy you said it was an Apple Apple. What did you, pay, what did you pay for it? That's okay. What? How much did you pay for it? Uh, it was on sale because I wouldn't buy it full price. Oh. Uh, so it lasts like three days. 150 or something. Yeah, and then you get to charge it. Oh, so oh, what was your, uh, yeah. what, do you have any of the notes for Intergalactic Hour? For Intergalactic Hour? Let's see what we got for Intergalactic Oh, uh, astrology is made up because... Uh, so I am exerting more gravity on any of you right now than any of the star signs. And that's like the basis for their logic for astrology yeah. is that the gravity changes so it affects who you are. But we are exerting more gravity on each other right now. Mikey D. Ladies. So, uh, do you guys, um, so Star Wars happened a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, right? Burn! That's the opening thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, you could have played Star Wars my request. Real life, I, I still want to know it why definitely we have could been have. to the moon since the last time we were there. All well, right, I will answer let's that. go. We don't have... Well, we no, never we got the budget. We, we, did, we, they took away said. the budget after 1972. You don't hear my... You you that's the reason. I do no, I, 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 I have a problem with zoning out, man. It's happening. I think we've absolutely been to the moon, if that's what you're suggesting. So I think what it's time they have, picture, they have pictures of the what was land the up from China, China, a third world, a third person country. I guess. What was the last time we were up there? 72? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. The last I'm going to say yes, it was 1972. 72. Like All right, this is yeah. over talk. He said, it, not to me, though, to Mikey D. Putting human cues, private hour. I can hear you. We, we haven't put a human down. I just look forward to hearing this recording. I just listen to myself talk to myself. took away all the money after Paul. Where did that money go? To the space shuttle. And then they retired the space shuttle. Now they're making a new one to get to Mars. They we did go. We definitely went to the moon. They have China took pictures with a probe of all the uh, landing stations, and Russia at the time also confirmed that we were on the moon, which they had every <laughs> reason to try to question it. Because you, you work for NASA? No, but you sound it. I wish. I wore oh, a NASA Mikey shirt D. yesterday. <laughs> Mikey D, do you <laughs> think NASA is a front? Is that what's happening right now? He thinks he... Oh, no, no, I'm just asking. Mikey D. I didn't, I didn't ask if they were a front. Is the planet a sphere or flat? Well, all right. Both. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's, it's not a perfect sphere. Wow. That's you got to draw a line. Is well, it you, spherical well, actually, or spherical, flat? Yeah. Here's a fun fact. If you Tell shrink me. the Earth down to the size of a cue ball, it'd be the smoothest object on Earth. Did you know that the Earth is actually shaped like a donut? That's why the sky's blue, because there's just another ocean. <laughs> sky's blue because of uh, light waves, because blue is the longest light wave. We're going to take a second music break. Because of the ocean. Soon. And away we go. Soul serenade, Aretha Franklin, rest in Let you. Can't heal my soul. 